Boxing was one of the first sports that accepted Negroes as participants. Although for a long time, they were only allowed to fight each other for the amusement of white audiences. Jack Johnson was the first Negro champion in 1908. Only two of the last 10 heavyweight champions were white. Maybe the best there ever was was Joe Lewis. It is paradoxical, or perhaps hopeful is a better word, that in 1938, most Americans were proud to accept and cheer for Lewis as their representative against the challenger from Nazi Germany, Max Schmeling. Given their choice between supporting their own countrymen or their own color, white Americans ignored color and chose countrymen. It is strange that color should ever be used as a criterion for deciding what we think of one another, because a man's color doesn't change according to the quality of his character. It's probably because people tend to associate with other people who look and act more or less the way they look and act themselves. Irish stick with Irish, Jews with Jews, and people from Humboldt, Iowa with people from Humboldt, Iowa. It is apparently a deep-rooted need we all have for maintaining contact with some point of origin. We feel an affinity for people who share this origin. Black people are calling that soul these days. But in America, a lot of these national or ethnic groups are breaking down because after a generation or two, it's hard to tell who is what. But it's not hard to tell who is white and who is black. And in this instance, the melting pot has not worked at all.